Brought to you by Signature Real Estate. Real Estate Exposed is all about helping homeowners and those who would like to be homeowners and those who would like to get into real estate. Welcome to Real Estate Exposed. Brandon's going to do the intro. <laughs> just kidding. Brought to you by Signature Real Estate, where it's more than just real estate. I'm Brandon Roberts, along with Vaughn and Abala and Shelly Vanzarella. I know your name. Oh, okay. I just didn't know if you need me to help you out there. She just doesn't like how I say it. So we're on. It's we're live. We're live. We are so, live. And we're all here together. Um, yeah. Which one of these does not belong? Okay, I'm putting three it on. Three amigos are back. We are back. Um, Kim, I know, is or super excited. Amigos. Two amigas and an amigo. With, by the way, all of Amiga. our kids in the audience. Yes, Hopefully. it's bring your son to work day. Yeah. How exciting. I know, right? So they get so no potty words today. S screw that shit. Yeah. Um, <gasps> just kidding. My kids are old enough. What did you do? I, uh, she bleeped you out. <laughs> you bleeped me out. You're like, bleep. I always have to make sure I can see myself. So uh, what did you guys talk about last week? Brandon said the market's going to crash. I can't sleep at night now since you've said that. Do you know that? Did I say that? You did. Did you say it by accident? And I forgot to ask you it if you meant crash or correction. Correction. Uh, there's a correction. Correction. There, well, there it could. It, I don't anticipate a crash. I anticipate a correction, and, and I don't anticipate it anytime soon. I All wish you would have said that so last week. I haven't had any can sleep. We, can we do some <laughs> highlights from last week? Because sure. I was going to watch it, and then I was talking to my accountant, and he talks too much, and I never got a chance to watch it. So, well, did you make? What money? were some of the highlights? It was me, you, and Chris. Right? Uh, Chris talked about his grandma. Oh, I don't want to know that. His grandma, <laughs> and how much inflation has inflation. a perspective perspective mm -hmm. on certain mm -hmm. things. Yes. Okay. What else were we talking about? We talked about gas prices. Kay. We did talk about gas prices. Oh my prices. god, four dollars and something crazy. Really. I, you even notice? No, somebody posted on on um, Instagram. They were like, "What the heck?" It was like four dollars and twenty cents or something. It's I funny because all three of us drive electric cars. I know, <laughs> and we're talking about gas. <laughs> I will tell you, I uh, I may be changing the electric car situation there. You to know what? The, uh, from a fuel? Tesla to a Porsche. No, I'm telling you, that car that you posted, holy crap! Sweet, <laughs> right? The only <clears throat> thing is, it does not drive by itself. I know, but honestly, how I'd often, have to learn how to drive. <laughs> how often? Oh, do you use that feature all the time on the Tesla? How do you think I get to work every day? No, stop. Seriously. Stop yourself. Seriously? Yes. I let it change lanes for it. me and everything. What? Oh, I don't use it that often. I'm not that brave. But I mean, think about it. I come from Boulder Dam and I come all the way up here. That's Boulder Dam, Hoover Dam, Hoover. <laughs> Boulder City, all the Hendertucky. way this way. Yeah, it's just straight freeway, so I don't have to worry about, you know... That's when I meditate. So you say, stop, <laughs> both of you. What is wrong with That's you? That's a great idea, actually. You guys, seriously, <laughs> the only time I ever use it is when I'm driving to, like, other states or on... What difference why would it make? Why I would, well, you, I don't use it on the regular streets, but I use it on yeah. the highway. On the freeway. And most of my commute is freeway, so... Yeah, same. Interesting. Yeah, see, I you, don't have that problem. The like. other thing is, so they have the option where you pay to, like, it's $10,000 now to have the full driving thing. Uh -huh. And I didn't do it in my car. This time, I was like, I did it last time, and they're not going to have the full driving anytime soon. That's stupid they didn't transfer it. And Right, but then the thing that got me was as soon as I did that, I got my car, and then when you turn the blinker on, you had to actually look and make the lane change. You didn't do it automatically. You almost got in an accident? <laughs> I can't see at night, but, oh. um, but they, they just came up with a monthly subscription. You can pay a subscription what the? to have the updated thing. Really? Yeah. So instead of paying ten thousand dollars, you could pay what? Is it nine ninety nine? It's because uh, I, I might buy the whole package. <laughs> <laughs> it's one hundred ninety nine. But oh my still, gosh. but still per month. Yeah, but still, if you look at it, if I was to on a three year lease, pay ten thousand dollars up front in the lease and all that stuff, it pencils better the other way. I still don't have music in my car because I will not pay the nine ninety nine um, subscription for whatever else you have other than camera. That's oh, how mine, they get you. Mine Seriously, came automatically. You well, we all when we first bought, you got all that stuff for free. I know that's why I don't want to trade my car. You in. don't. I mean, truthfully, if you're going to trade your car, in, I mean, and I, I love Tesla. I loved the car, but I feel like the second, what would you call this? The second um, edition of it? Or, Go around. Yeah, round it, two. It's not as. It is not as. Um, it's it's a less a lower quality. I think it's a. To me, I always feel it's a higher quality. But what I feel like is it's not as novel or n is neat anymore. I agree. You know, so now it's it. too I, many have it, and it's just it's just is yeah. a car now. Well, I don't know if you saw Shelly's post um, the other day, and if you're not following her, please do. It's on Instagram. Shelly Panzarella. There you dot go. Com. 
Um, no, you're. <laughs> oh, my handle is Shelly Panzarella. Everywhere you look. <laughs> <laughs> look at you finally. It getting is true. I know. I had to plan. step up to your so, level. So um, you had posted that car, the Porsche. And I will tell you, when I had mine, it was one of the best customer service departments oh. I have ever, ever, ever had for a luxury car. That's a whole nother podcast because the service for Tesla is probably the weakest. And I thought BMW was, was yeah. bad. Tesla is like ridiculous. It's awful. Yeah. I, I I went there one time and I had like a handprint on the front of my car, right? They From don't, they don't wash they it. They don't they wash don't. your car when you they give it back to you. Yeah. They don't take care. They don't do anything. Like the interior, I still had crap in it, like that they left in there. And I was just yeah. like, what is, what? I mean, like, I feel like I'm not part of a luxury car exactly. you're not, committee, you're not, community. It, you're part of a tech company. And it, and there's some things that are cool, but yeah. like, um. I I went in there. There's vibration in the front end. They make you go on a ride with somebody, which is always a pain because it's like they don't believe you. And, and it doesn't happen when and it's And then your you're turn. like sweating that it's going to actually <laughs> yes. happen this time. So yeah. so it does happen. So he's like, oh, okay, yeah, that would be annoying. And so then it goes into the shop, you know, and, and it's there all day. And then they say, um, okay, it's ready. I'm like, oh, that was good. That was fast. And I go to pick it up and they go, yeah, we didn't have the parts. So we rescheduled you no on another way. day. And I'm like, okay. So, it, and it's in the app. But if that doesn't work for you, change the date. Well, obviously it didn't work. So I changed the date. It's another 10 days after that oh, where gosh. I can get an appointment. And then yeah. I finally, I get to that day and it's about tomorrow. And then I get a notification in the app that says, oh, we don't have a technician. So we're going to move you to <laughs> August 6th. And so then I go in August 6th. And I'm like, okay. And there's tons of cars. Yep. And, you know, waiting to get into the service. And I'm like, but I got an appointment. <laughs> so I go in there and she That's does the whole thing. Yeah. Chest, I yeah. got an appointment. And then she, she, I'm thinking, okay, it'll be a day, maybe two. She says, well, um, you should be done about August 12th. <laughs> and I go, what? That's today. No. Yesterday you dropped off your car. Yeah. Today's yeah. the 6th. No, still going. Uh, I, I dropped it on the 5th. Still oh, waiting. got it. Okay. And so the 12th, I'm like, the 12th, I'm like, wait a minute, I have an appointment. Well, that's, yeah, but it's going to take us line. that line. Yeah, get you in line. So you have an appointment to bring your car in and park it in their at their dealership or their <laughs> their lot for 10 days until you can get it worked on. And you'd think I'm you'd be moving really through not. the line so that yeah. you wouldn't have them sitting there. But but they did give you credit for Uber, right? So that's one of yeah. the... She says, uh, well, do you need transportation? I said, yeah. She goes, well, um, <clears throat> we'll give you an enterprise rent-a-car. It's gas, but we'll pay for the gas. I'm like, okay, is it here? And she goes, no, we'll Uber you over to the lot. And I go, I really don't have time for that. <laughs> Can I get Uber credits? Yep, 800 bucks worth of Uber credits. So I'm like, they're have gonna- you been using it? Did yeah. you drive to California yet? Or? No. No, not I'm yet. like, they're going to have my car for a while. Yeah, yes. the XL, <laughs> get the Uber XL, because the other ones are crap. Yeah, but by the time I do that, I get two rides and I'm done. The, so Uber prices are up as well. So yeah. I turned, yeah, I was like, $50 just to get from here to the Tesla. Um, Office, what is it? Tesla <laughs> service Dealership? center? Dealership? Service Dealership? Center. Yeah, yeah, that thing, all of those. Yes, yeah, so where it used to cost like $15. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. So I will, I've actually, since you told me that that Porsche was a um, electric. electric, I'm seriously considering it. No gas for me ever again. I agree. Yeah. But I have been, like, I'm now putting that on my list of things of that I want. So let me ask you, though, if you get that, where can you charge it? So like, they, if you were to go on a road trip, can you charge? They ha so they have their own charging stations now as well, and they're uh, they're unlimited without having the special whatever. But do they have the coverage that Tesla does? They, pro mean, they don't. I mean, just because... But Tesla started off slow, too. My car's almost paid off. I would just keep that in the garage just in case. Just in case. That would be her gas drive. car that we I'm going to tell you, I would, buy, I would buy a gas car. In fact, I got um, You're money so down on one. But the reason being is for trips over the road. I, yeah. I, the comfort yeah. level of the Tesla driving is yeah. great, yeah. but having to charge with the lines of people waiting now, it's it's. Oh, it's so you haven't had any issues with lines for Tesla? I, went, I was coming back around Christmas. Oh, but you don't have free... It doesn't matter. It's the superchargers. It's the charger. So I come in, and there's like eight charging stations in Beaver, Utah, coming back. That's where it tells me to stop. Eight charging stations. I pull up. I'm number nine. Nice. Okay, 15 minutes. I had to wait to get in. Okay, no big deal. Then I get in. And then by the time I was done, there was 33 other cars waiting to oh charge. Oh, my God. Could you imagine? Yeah, that's, that's insane. What? But I'm buying an electrical bicycle. Yeah. 
Who's with that? With my Toyota. That's Tyson. With my Toyota, make appointment, get car back, same day. Just saying. <sighs> they go up to 20 miles per hour. No more gas for me. Who yeah. goes up to 20 miles they, per have hour? Have you not seen oh, the, the bikes? The bikes. <laughs> yeah. You know the ones that your boys have? Just <laughs> <kidding>. <laughs> the one, the kind that Carolina crashed on? Yeah. She oh, helmet? that's right. She Had got hurt recently? pretty bad. No, yeah, was she was year. like, she was all bent up. She came into the office. I was Her face, her neck, her shoulders, her arms, her legs, everywhere. Yeah. And yeah. chipped her tooth. <laughs> and she, oh yeah, that's right. She chipped her tooth. I remember that now. We you can, have pictures of that? Is that we what can you're laugh. Us? No, I'm, oh. <laughs> I'm looking for the, uh, I'm looking for the Shelly's uh, car. Oh, on, on her, yeah, no, no, no. No, it's oh. on my YouTube Story. Reels. Oh, her, Insta Reels. Insta oh. Reels, yeah. Learn it. And YouTube, YouTube Shorts. Are you guys doing Shorts? Yeah. Okay. Whatever. So, um... <laughs> Shelly Panzarella. So anyway, so that was uh, our Tesla update. So let's give you the yes. actual market update. Okay, that's relevant yes. to our, our show. Our show. That was a good um, tangent. <laughs> that was, yeah. Do you see how I did that? Yes, I like it. it. Yeah. Good segue. So um, currently we have 1139 homes on the market or new listings that have shown up mm-hmm. in the last seven days, right? So 1,139 homes have shown up on the market in the last 30 days. Or fi- sorry, in the last seven days, I'm having somebody's a working. Brain- it's first oh, time back. God, I know it's Man. been so long. Jeez. We sold a thousand sixty-six homes in the last seven days. One thousand sixty-six, um, and of those, the least priced was sixty thousand. Close, really? Sixty-five. Sixty-eight-five. Pretty dang 60, close. All right. And the highest price six million dollars. <laughs> You don't have what three point two this time? No, oh sort of different show. But six million dollars sounds right. Six million. Looks like it on your Instagram actually. Is that right? Five three fifty. <laughs> nice. Five thousand five million three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Which is not actually a lot considering what we've been doing in the last few months. Um, but it looks like this one was in Red Rock Canyon Estates. That's Red off Rock. of Blue Diamond. Um oh. yeah, not really sure where that is, to be honest with you. Anybody know where Red Rock something or the other is? Red well, Rock you Canyon guys are Estates. The realtors here. Five mil- I know, but I don't know where <laughs> everything is. You don't? No. You've been here forever. No, it's forever, a, ever. Forever, ever. Is Twenty it? years ish. It, looks like, it looks like it's over in the riches, but looks like it's yeah. Well, would it not be in Red Rock? It's it well, you'd think. I don't know. Let me it's look at It's got a map. good view of Red Rock. Of Red Rock. Can yeah, it says it West on Highway 160, which is Blue Diamond, to Highway 159, right on 159, three miles to Castalia, left on Castalia. I think it's like past Red Rock, like past Charleston. It's got to be. Or maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go ahead and Google that. Yeah. you. I could probably look it up. I would, maybe you, you could, could do just a, click the map. map. <laughs> no, but if I click the map, it shows it's all the of them. It it's drives the me bananas. I'll do it right now. Red Rock Country Club? No, it's not Red Rock Country. I would have said Red Rock Country I know. Club. What's All right, so how do the stats compare to last week, Shelly? <laughs> They're up. Oh, this one's in Henderson, you guys. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. That's my neck of the woods. Are you sure? It's over right next to you, What's Shelly. What's the zip code? 89015. That's got to be wrong. Why would mm, they call it Red totally Rock? That's wrong. Yeah, that's not right. I don't know. And that's not the right number either. Red Rock Canyon Estate. Red Rock Canyon Estate? Blue Canyon. Diamond. Is Blue Diamond out that way? No. Data integrity. Right. Report that one. Yep. Area code's wrong. Another reason to get rid of them. Area code is wrong. <laughs> it is, oh no, 89004 is what yes. it's, what? Yeah. None of this makes any sense. None of this makes any sense. Glad Google's working Data for Data integrity. Uh, hold on. I know. Sorry, guys. I don't mean to do this on the show, but this is really important. There it is. She's Much gonna report better. Him. I'm not going to report them. I actually see it's it now. It's your agent. So it's, <laughs> it's not. It's not one of ours. But it is. It's on the way to Pahrump. It's on the way to the hump. Over the hump in Pahrump. It's way yeah. the heck out there. It is Red right. Rock. Yeah. Five million? Five million. Yeah. You know how like when you, have you ever driven to, re- to Pahrump? Once. So on the way to Pahrump, there's all those Please. homes that are up in the corner. Like this is one of them. Oh, wow. Yeah. Pretty cool. All right. So that's what we've got. And then as far as current markets um, listings. So as of today, um, active listings, we have 4,484, which is up. A month. up. It's a month's worth. Yeah. Which is up. No, that's so we are up right now to a month's worth of inventory. Yeah, three point nine so weeks 3. is what you. Weeks. Yeah, is that, are you looking at my stats that Maybe. I posted? Yeah, why yeah. you post this? You should post them after the show so people pay more attention to our show. People will not. 
Yeah. Do you know what the new median price range is, though? But if here, here's the thing, people. If you want to get an update on um, what we're going to talk about stats-wise and you want to get a jump on it, you can go to my Instagram <laughs> at Real Vamana. <laughs> I just shared it, so you can check me out also. <laughs> Do you know what the new median... Um, Three ninety five. Four, that was last month. Four oh. seventeen to four twenty. Four nope. seventeen. What does it say on my sheet? That number. It says, <laughs> it says five hundred. It can't be five hundred. Not the median. That's the average. That's average. That's average. The median yeah. is four oh five. Wow. That's not bad. Not bad. That's should have bought high. a house last month. We're up twenty two percent over last year. I know. I'm gonna buy a house this month, Shelly. Mm-hmm. I already sent you the yep. message. I sent Got you it. the number. You're I'm thanks. Bing. Owner financing. <laughs> owner, finance. owner will carry. I'm doing an owner will carry. She, she's gonna. She's gonna help me with that. I will. Yeah, absolutely. I think I'm gonna do. It. I've been. I've been wanting to buy like a rental property, and this one seems. But you're buying it that c- to live in, right? Yes. Yes. Exactly. So why? Yeah. Would, yeah. So you're gonna make your current. No, home. my current Can home I will rent be that? a rental property. No way. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna rent it to somebody who's my friend so that I can come over and Hang swim on. in my pool. I'm your friend, which by the way has turned green all of a sudden. Have you not noticed uh, it's hot outside? Who services your pool? Um, Extreme Pool Servicing Company. You need a new one. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I called him. He's like, "Yeah, my guy told me about that. He said he's coming back tomorrow with some more chemicals, and we'll." Work. I'm like, "I don't want chemicals in my pool." And he's like, "Well, then you have How to drain you? it." And I'm like, "Okay, well, wait chemi- a second. Go ahead and Hold chemical on. it. You put chemicals in it all the time." What do you? Oh. Is it a salt water? It's salt water. They still put chemicals yeah. in they it. They do? I have chemicals in my pool? You put salt in it. I thought it was just salt. I thought salt was the chemical. It, no. it is, but you have to keep putting salt in it. But there's other stuff you put in How it. often? Sorry. Listen. I'm not sure. Here's, Here's how Linda. you do it. Here's how you <laughs> do it. All right, Brandon, tell me. Bra- Brandon's going to be my new, no, new pool guy. <laughs> I'm, I moved into a house, and I have a pool, and mine isn't green. Okay. And I do not have a pool guy. I'm the pool guy. But I learned. Are you all you do is are you, you for hire? Yeah, <laughs> just you just it's simple. You take a sample of your water oh my and you go to Leslie Pool. Okay. And they test it and they give you the chemicals or whatever you need to put in. They say put it in every they, week? Uh, yeah, they give you a printout and the printout says put this in, wait four <clears> hours, <throat> put this in, put this oh, in. Oh yeah, I ain't got time for that shit. Yes, you do. Nope. I'm telling you. You know what I, I feel should like do? I'm talking to my husband right now. You know now. what I should Tells do? This I should hire now, children to do now, this. You it's should. so weird. I have them. Now instead of having to go now, instead of going to Leslie's, they have a membership, and you can actually get the device. They'll ship it to your house, and it in an app. You drop the test in there, and in your app, it tells you exactly what you need to do. Get out. No. It's from Leslie Pools, or yeah. I and might get that so for my husband's birthday. It's, it's 50 bucks a month for the a membership. Month? Wait. What the frick wait, is up with all this subscription? Wait, yeah, wait, but it costs, oh, wait. but it costs me a hundred and something dollars to get my pool service. And they give you a $50 credit to use towards the chemicals. In Every it. month? Yeah, you get... <laughs> Chicks, you owe me a soda. And you get $50 okay, a month. that makes it so worth it. So it's a net zero. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, good thing I could do math. All right, so uh, if you, so we're going to put the affiliation link, affiliate link on below for Leslie. I wish, <laughs> oh, right? Let me find that really No, quick. they're great. I, there's one right around the corner from my house. They're awesome. So if my you want to do it yourself, it Leslie Pools is awesome. All yeah. right. There you go. All right. And okay. they're not even a sponsor and of our show yet. yet. Yeah, exactly. Not yet. Um, all right. So... A couple of things that have come up in the last few months that have been a big deal. And now, especially in the last couple. Oh, Valina, call Tropical Clear Pool. Tom, got it. Thanks, Shell. Um, You need need acid. And that's for the pool. I need acid. Not Not for for me. (laughs) Got it. (laughs) Good to know. Hey, and and Shell, she knows. Mark, her husband's the one that taught me to go to Leslie's pool. (laughs) (laughs) That's awesome. Well, I'd I'd love to have them as a neighbor because Mark would probably teach me a bunch of shit. Yeah. I right, d- he's or, at my house every day. I know, or I'd be able to be <laughs> like, um, uh, "You just said that you weren't available, and I can see that you're hanging out drinking right now. I he's just hanging there. out on the pool, <laughs> right. hanging out on the pool." This. No, he's actually working on the remodel stuff at I my know, house. I know that's going to take you six months or something, right? Are you, no, he's are you fast. close. Yeah, we're getting close. Really? Yeah, um, the air exchangers go in the attic today. The what? Air exchangers that are in the garage for your your furnace. Oh, they're going up in the attic today. Give me more room in the garage. The flooring should be polished in a couple weeks, and the cabinet should be coming in a couple weeks. Hey, Brandon, wow. if you get a chance, and if you haven't already done it, go tankless water heater. <laughs> uh. I thought you could make him take off his shirt. Like, what <laughs> the hell? What was You're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> why, did no. you, why did you say that? Did, did he tell you what he said no. to me? No. Oh, my gosh. I'm funny. <laughs> um, no, but if when the water heater goes out, I'll look at it. 
<sighs> no, uh, you don't want to do do it now. Like why? it's the, by uh, far one of the best things. Woo-hoo. Water heater. Congratulations, Te- Tamara. She just bought her Tesla. What? Nice. There it is. Aww, we were just talking about them. We were just saying not Tesla. to do that <laughs> for the future. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Welcome to the family. Right. She wanted the Ford, the electric she Ford did. car. Yeah. Yep. But look at that beautiful. But car. you convinced nice. her to get the. Uh, Nice. All Very right. Nice. So let's That's talk about uh, this um, eviction moratorium, you guys. Okay. I mean, I'll pay attention there's now. some. <laughs> thanks, Shelly. <laughs> there's some serious stuff going on since we had. So the eviction moratorium for Nevada actually ended at the end of the month, last, last month in July. And then we had a rollout by Biden saying that there was going to be a, a moratorium, like the way that they handled the evictions, and that there was going to be a moratorium until, until October. What's happening? What are you looking over there for? No, we're all paying oh. attention. Okay, so with what now with that happening, there's been there's been a, a lot of talk about how you know there's people who are still suffering. There's still things that are going on that they they cannot you know pay their rent and they need some assistance. Blah blah blah. What are your guys' thoughts Just on this? Keep going. Keep going about what? Whatever you're talking about. Why? <laughs> we're watching what Beta's doing. Beta, what are you doing? You're receiving <laughs> items on your phone. Huh? <laughs> You're watching what we're doing? So, so what were you talking about? The eviction moratorium. moratorium. <laughs> oh, my God. I Brandon said it was going to get now. extended. So clearly last week's show was uh, just a whole bunch of nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know why you guys did it. Um, <laughs> he said we're crashing and we're going to get extended. Well, I guess we technically extended. Extended. So last week's show was a complete bust. If you watched it, I apologize for no, everybody good. who was on here. It was good. We will revamp that. So uh, the eviction. We will delete it. <laughs> we will delete it. It will be gone. We'll, play it we'll call it the deleted version. Do not watch. <laughs> <laughs> Is that so such you, a thing? Yeah. Okay. It's going gonna, gonna to happen. So um, the new moratoriums just come from the president and his administration. Um that's Joe Biden, by the way. Uncle Joe. And Uncle Joe. And um, it is until the, what was it, October something or the other? It's not even like at the end of October. It's like October 5th or something ridiculous. I don't know why. Christmas. Or until the Supreme Court kicks it out. Which, Whichever happens first. Which, which they might. Um, it still has to go through a couple of different phases, right? Um, I think the unfortunate thing is that I know that there are still people. Are you deleting last week's episode? No. No, he's playing it. Oh, so he's I, I, I he's because this jerk. one's gone to shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Thank you, Shell. It's for the third. There you go. Um, what just happened? That was Tamara's new car. Oh, Aww. congratulations, Tamara! Welcome to the electric club. Yes, <laughs> electric. Oh, okay, that should <laughs> boogie electric boogie. Yes. Right, is the song. So, I'm just gonna stop. Uh, no, seriously, I do need to understand what the Uncle no, Joe's you don't. You don't care. Uh, eviction moratorium is. You don't care. Is. Yeah, we do. do. It, it says right there, it saves lives. Yeah, Tell it us. saves lives, fam- families in their homes. So what they're saying is that if people get evicted, they're going to be out in Displays. the public, and now with the Delta variant, they're gonna they're gonna spread it more, and so it's gonna cause <clears throat> it's gonna cause them to get sick. It's gonna cause families to get sick. It's gonna cause other people to get sick. Blah blah blah. And I, I mean, I was talking to you about it yesterday. I went to, um, and I'm doing a full on call out here, but I went to Grape Street over in downtown Summerlin. There was not a single person in that in that place that was wearing a mask. Oh. Not even the servers, not the manager, nobody. Like it, it's like the mask mandate, even though it's there, doesn't exist. It's there's so- a mask mandate. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm totally just kidding. I'm just kidding. When did that happen? (laughs) That was was last week. It was on Friday at 12.01 a.m. So those people who were not masked at 11.59 had to put one on at 12.01. Have you been mask shamed yet? What does that mean? That means you went in some place without a mask and somebody gave you a lecture. No. No. It's pretty fun. You've done... (laughs) That's happened to you? Yeah, it was an accent. Like, I had the mask in my hand. I just... And I was on my way out of the building and... The lady says, this building requires a mask. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. And I go to put it on, and she says, people are dying out there. Oh. And I'm like, I know. And I said, thanks for the reminder. I don't need the lecture. Yeah. <laughs> but it, you know, so some people are really taking it real serious still. Yeah. Yeah. But then there's some, there's, a lot of people are just over it. Well, I had, you know, like I wear my mask, and I, I put it on, and then there's times where I'm like, okay, I, I need to breathe, so I take it off, and I sort of like leave it hanging. 
and people I forget. Are people are dying out there. I, <laughs> I don't, but I do that like if I get in the car, I'll take it off. I'm not driving with it on if I'm by myself. And I leave it hanging on my ear, which, by the way, my ear holds a lot of shit nowadays, right? Because you've got the mask, the earrings, the earbuds. Yes, I have earbuds. The headphones. The headphones. Like, not you wear like earbuds and headphones? No, I don't. He's just, ta- he's just saying oh. now. But at the same time, right? At the same time, I've got glasses on my head, earrings, earbuds, and the mask. Four things. What else could my ear hold? What else could it be at the same time? What else could there be? More piercings. More piercings. It could, hold, it could hold your hair back. It could hold my. <laughs> it could hold my hair back. That would be five. Five things that my ear does. It holds it is your now ear back. The, it is now the most important part of my body. All, all <laughs> need to get while that listening. Insured. It's gotten way <laughs> more action than anything else. All right. You so can't, <laughs> you can't get a husband to do that. <laughs> True, Listen. True. true, true. We'll do multiple things. So we have, sorry, kids. So we have um, eviction moratorium. <laughs> Let's talk about this again. October Start 3rd. Over. Start over. Sorry. Those of you who were listening, that was is a total delay. What about October 3rd? Is, is that when, when it, it goes away? That's when it's supposed to go away, right? So anyway, so that's the reasoning that they're doing it is because, I love how we digress. That was like full-on so, squirrel moments So they today. did it. We should, that's going to be the show. They did it. Um, and time for August, the replay. August 3rd to October 3rd. So there is a reason they picked the 3rd. Correct. Probably because it was, oh, like that days. makes sense. <laughs> 60 days to get them out or 60 days to get prepared to get no, out? No, they extended 60 it 60 days. days. Prepare to get them out. For, for them to be yeah. prepared to leave. So here's the other thing that I was, I think I sent you guys a message in the app about this, but there was, so I, I was talking to a, a friend of mine who is an executive at one of the big banks at, <clears throat> and also at a credit union. And she was saying that some of the folks, like in the older communities, right? So like that some of the are um, used to seniors their bills that are used to paying their bills on time and, and they don't, don't believe. Like the, yeah. Yeah. And that they and don't believe in being late on anything, any of their bills, like it stresses them out. It those people couldn't pay their, you know, couldn't pay their rent. Well, the landlords were knocking on their doors, like, hey, pay my rent, pay my rent, pay my rent, pay my rent. And so they because of the frustration of, okay, this is my mentality, I don't want to pay late, and I I know that that so and so needs it, and I've applied for assistance. And so because they've applied for assistance, right? They know that the money's coming. So they go to, for instance, like a payday loan place or whatever, and go get an advance to pay their rent. So they pull the money out from a payday loan. They pay like a ridiculous amount of interest on that loan to pay them to pay the landlord. Aww. And then because they've made that payment, the assistance will no longer be provided because they ha- they're not delinquent anymore. Wow. And so there's there's now this huge bill. group of people that have been that have been trying to get, you know, trying to get their bills paid on time because the landlords are needing it and and they've applied for assistance and they're trying waiting to do the right and thing. the right and the assistance is taking so long to get to them. They're like, "Okay, well we'll just do this." And now they that's it. They're stuck with this loan from Payday Home Loans, which by the way is not or whatever company, it's not just payday, it's all the other ones too. But they're not relieving these people of the interest or anything like that. Yeah. And because and because they've made those payments to the landlord, they're not getting any more assistance. So wow. they owe the they owe this money to some loan company. They're gonna send loan sharks after them. So is to collect. I mean these the <laughs> places that they have available for assistance, are they not communicating this information to They were overwhelmed. Tenants? They were overwhelmed. Oh. They've been mm. behind. They're catching up, but they they've been behind. Yeah. Maybe so maybe somebody needs to throw some impact onto that, some resources into that. They tried. I mean, we had during the legislative session there was actually some discussion about um, a fund that was being placed for and it was like five million dollars, which, you know, is nothing. Like that'll well, I think we did the math on here and it wasn't gonna help that many families. I mean, yes, it's gonna help some families. The idea was to replenish this fund over and over again so that people had access to this money, but again, they're overwhelmed because there's so many people that haven't paid rent. We have been lucky, I mean, honestly, like seriously lucky, touch wood, knock on wood, do all you can, all you listeners. We haven't had that big of an issue with tenants not paying rent. Um, you as in signature. Are, yeah. yeah. And, well, and those that we have, we've been able to get them out, thankfully, right? Or, or work something out with people. Yeah. I mean, it's not always about evicting. It's the communication between the, the parties. Yeah. I agree. But the biggest frustration that I hear from our property management department is when you've got tenants that actually need it and mm-hmm. they're waiting for it and you've got tenants that don't need it, that yeah. aren't paying their rent, that are getting it. 
Oh. And they're getting it quicker than sometimes than the other. Seriously? Well, I think the assistant goes assistance goes directly to the ten, uh, to the landlord. Not all the time. So it depends what? when they if they applied originally in the beginning, it went to the tenant. And oh there's a goodness. lot of people that are talking about tenants coming in mm-hmm. with their with their money from the government to like buy Louis Vuitton bags or to buy um, tickets for games or to like all sorts of things. Sad. Sorry. Yeah. Crazy. No, it's really sad. Yeah. So how's your story going with your tenant? They're all uh, paid up. Yeah, she is. She's paid up and she's ahead. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. Yeah. So she got the assistance or you got the assistance from the government through the chat program. Did, yeah. So that was kind of crazy. She started the process like in May, I think, and it took forever. July, at middle of July, they finally engaged us as a landlord mm-hmm. to start our application process. And then literally from like middle of July to the end of July, they got us to do confirmation of the lease agreement, the amounts that we were laid on, all of our fees, anything that we had to pay during that time frame, they ultimately repaid back from, from January true. 1st when she stopped paying through the future, the one month ahead. So that's why she's a month ahead because now she's made another month payment um, on her own. So I thought that was pretty cool. But they, they the check came to us. It didn't go, you know, got it approved and the check was mailed in within like 15 days. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. That's because you applied for it essentially no, or no. you she were did. part of it. She did. Sorry, I was reading something else. Tell they, me again. She applied and then when it, <laughs> then they engaged her yeah. to oh, put in got her it. stuff Good. To, to confirm that the money was owed and everything. Yeah, I, just, I think it's sad because it started literally in May and yeah. she, nothing got ro- start. I mean, really rolling until July. Yeah. And then within that. But of this year. Yeah. Which is not bad. There's still people Mm -hmm. waiting from last year. Which I. Okay. So. They've either been denied or they've had to reapply or they didn't turn it in properly or something. And they've had to start the process over and over again. And they're still on hold. They're still waiting. So I think that's crazy because the process is not that hard. I mean. They need to check into it because I was on a conference call on some of this and they were processing applications from May. This was about. For this year. Yeah, about two and a half weeks ago, they were caught up and doing May. Oh, nice. So if there are people that are before that that haven't heard anything, there's, there's an issue. Yeah. I they're they not my tenants. Out. I don't care. Yeah. So <laughs> well, that's nice. I'm kidding. But I, <laughs> how do they actually so get kid, Is it just through CHAPS or is it there? Is there a Nevada? Clark County there. Clark County. Beta, my lighting is on point today. I'm sorry, I just noticed myself. Continue. Where did they get the information to get <laughs> you assistance? Should, you should have saw the lighting last week. <laughs> there was thereof. none. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody even saw I was not even in the <laughs> table. <laughs> oh, that's good. On the table, not in the table. Okay. Um, so you sent a... Um, she another- wanted to know where they get where they go to find assistance. Who? I do. Where, yeah, oh, where, where is it just the chaps or? <laughs> go, yeah, they still go through it's chaps. Just, it's chaps through Nevada Housing then. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they go to Nevada Housing. We can post that link. Um, Along in, with in our affiliates uh, link to Leslie Pools. Yes, all of those things. <laughs> well, apparently <laughs> Tropical Clear Pool too. Or Tropical Clear Pool. They yeah. better be paying us some <laughs> residual income on that. Right. So um, you had sent over a... Um, article about this lady who got like a go f- started a GoFundMe account. Yes. And now collected $170,000. Within 24 hours she got that. Because she was on she was on TV? She was on TV. They talked about um, her and her <coughs> three kids, <coughs> mm-hmm. uh, the fact that she was about to get evicted and what it would do for her and then within tw- I'm hoping she if if a realtor out there has not helped uh, gotten her ready to buy a She'll house. Be buying a house, right? right? Absolutely. So she's got her and her three daughters um she was a card dealer when the pandemic forced casinos to shut down. Yep. Uh, one of more than 11 million Americans that are behind on their rent, according to the Center on Budget and Policy Priorities. She said, I have no idea what we were doing, what we were going to do. She started a GoFundMe on Monday night in hopes of raising $2,000 to cover the back rent she owed. Just 24 hours later, the campaign has raised more than $172,000 for more than 2,700 donors. Most of the donations were $10 or $20, but one was for $15,000. It all snowballed from there. Kelly plans to deposit the money into savings accounts for each of her three girls, Burnett reported. She will also pay the remainder of her apartment's lease and pay it forward to others. Um, it gave me a lot of hope, nice. she said. I mean, it gives me chills to just think about it. Like, yeah. that's crazy. Mm-hmm. That's, that's enough amazing. money for a down payment. <clears throat> right? Oh, is that that's the article that you're pulling up for us? Yep. Thanks, Beta. Um, so look at us getting all like high tech high tech and stuff. It's that's amazing. That's what happens when we got the beta marketing master. We do. 
Um, all right. So I think that's kind of cool. Oh, now you got to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, and subscribe. No more. Make sure you turn on those notification buttons. So there were there's a, quite a few stories about her. In fact, <laughs> um, I think the initial one was about her actually looking to get evicted. That's her, right? Getting evicted. <laughs> I don't think she was looking to get evicted. No, 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 not looking to get evicted, but her get about to get evicted. <laughs> yes, yeah. We'll just call this show the squirrel moments. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening anymore. All right, what else you got? That's it. That that's all we got. All right, so you know I have more. Okay. So there was there. Um, you had sent over a look. Um, I don't know which one of you anymore. Uh, can you stop checking your phone? Oh, I forgot to look at the. Uh, I have issues. The other With what? Is your car ready? No. No. <laughs> no. I got a, I got a text from them though. That your car's ready? No, I'll let you know what it says here. Okay, are you signing commission instructions? No. Nope. We're having a show right now. It's like 20 more we minutes. Just said, said, good afternoon. Your vehicle is moving up the queue for Fender. service. It'll be, and it'll we be will ready. Need, and August we will need your vehicle through the weekend. We will update you again on the progress Monday. Thank you for your patience Aww. and have a wonderful weekend. Which, okay, I don't mean to circle back to that, but I will say I of all the experiences I've had with Tesla being poor, the, the service advisor this go around was the best, by far the best. His name is Danny. If, and I asked him, I'm like, listen, I don't normally, like, I want to make sure to take a moment to acknowledge you because you have literally been the best service advisor ever in the history of me owning a Tesla. And he was great. I've had some good ones in the past, and it's usually after I've had a big frustrating experience all the way, and then the, the, I meet the one person, I'm like, okay, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, but no, I, he was good was from the start. That. That's good. Yeah. Okay, sorry. So, uh, back to you, Vaughn and Home prices have increased significantly over the last year, which in turn has growth, grown the net worth of homeowners. Appreciation and home mm -hmm. equity are directly linked. As the value of home increases, so does a homeowner's equity. And with these recent gains, homeowners are witnessing their financial stability and well-being grow to record levels. Mm -hmm. So really interesting, though, that it says it that way. Do you want me to repeat it or you got it? Mm -hmm. So you said, maybe one more time. I think right. growed. Growth. Did growed. I say growth? Is that what you said? Growth. She said rural. rural. <laughs> no, I said growth. <laughs> growth. Okay. Hi. Growth. Don't mind. Do you need water? What's happening? Okay. Um, Aww, that's so sweet. He'll drink. <laughs> should from bring there. him on. Come on. Come on over. Come read this. High you, schooler. High schooler. Aww. I have a I have a high schooler who's now taller than I am. Well, cause this is this is Arjun, everybody. Aww. Master Arjun, you can do that for right now. This is my son. Um, he is 14 years old and just started high school. On Monday. Get out. Yeah. yeah. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. what's, your, what's the first thing you're going to do when you go back to school? Go to first period. Oh, no. Go to first period. <laughs> he was go so to my he went to orientation this week and he was so stoked because all of his friends were there. He finally got a chance to hang out is with everyone. Stoked a word. We do use is that stoked word, a Archie? word anymore? Yeah. No. Stokes a word. Is it? Stokes a word. What is the what's the most common word to stoke? Light. Yeah, fire. It's so fire. Excited. So fire. It was no, excited. I think it's no. something like that. It's so awesome. No, pog. <laughs> No. no, no, it's not. I heard that that's a word. So when no. he had a, he had his friends pog? over, they kept saying that's pog, dude. I do like passion, and so then I started orange saying juice, it. guava. I know, so but I started word. saying it, and then they stopped. Yeah, <laughs> that happens. That happens. I like that. Just no sounds. More. It doesn't what, sound what cool What classes anymore. are you taking? Are you taking? What's your elective? Um, High school. I have like business marketing. What? And, yeah, and one other one. Get he, out! He didn't you know want we're that. looking you know, for a marketing you know who, uh, who made him do it? <laughs> me. So you'll you'll he was you'll really, he was mad at me about it you'll too. You'll thank her later. So there's like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my bad. So there's like two different electives that you get. Yeah. Because there's eight classes for some reason, and it's called uh, it's called school. <laughs> yeah, but there's normally That's six crazy. classes instead of eight. Oh. But um, yeah, but. Uh, my mom picked. They get for your elective. You get to pick like, oh, this. You or your mom one, gets to pick two, them. Number three. Whoever fills out the paperwork. Oh. Thank you. I <laughs> picked like number one, number two, number three. You get like five options or some, something. Well, like that. So what I did picked you pick? Home ec. <laughs> 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 I did. I picked baking. Baking. So I picked the first like the first top two, and then my mom picked the rest of them, and I got all the ones my mom picked. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> so what were the first two that you picked? I picked film for the first one, Ooh. and the second one, I forgot what I picked, but I think it was like cooking or something. Both? Something artsy, I don't know. Dude, artsy? if you want to do film, 
Yeah. Beta will like totally walk you through exactly. it. Exactly. That's Beta what he does. Beta needs an assistant. He needs an assistant. You need an assistant, To keep right? up with us Look, crazy I got, I got a 14-year-old that needs a job. <laughs> he's got, he's but he's like, got eight, eight, eight credits he's got to get now. He's got yeah. eight classes, but I mean, he's got to have an after-school activity. I will tell you, you he was like- him to do He pool. was like my school. My school and and a pick up dog already? poop. No, he's going to do all of it. you guys have a dog? <laughs> no, we don't have a dog. <laughs> We should though. You should. <laughs> let's let's start a GoFundMe page to get He's to a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Come so, up right now. So I tell <laughs> I tell the kids I was and I think I've said this before is if you go pick up dog poop at Aunt Gina's house for the next month, you are allowed to have a dog. Like I will consider it. I would truly consider okay, it. Okay, you guys heard it here on and Real Estate Exposed. Neither one of them have gone Jesus. one time it because of the key word. Shh, I'll consider. Shh. It. Stop it. <laughs> no, not you. not you will get one. Yeah, I will consider. consider it. Yeah. yeah. So the considerate part is a very strong, like for me, that's very strong. My kids get everything they want, but the dog thing, I got to tell you, I'm going to be the one that takes care of it. And that's you one extra thing. You will be the thing. one who will love it. Especially, you'll love having a dog. I, no. Yes, you I, will. Yeah, I have to take care of it. You're, it's a lot. He's Why in high school waving? now. You're not going to have anybody. You're, once <laughs> you're, you're younger, it's one, like they're not going to want to play okay. with you. You'll just have the dog. <laughs> <laughs> let's start off with the stuffed yeah, exactly. dog. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, let's start off with the stuffed dog. The <laughs> stuffed dog? Yeah, and yeah. see how m- many times you pet it and hang out with it and take it on walks. And, <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then we'll graduate you up to a Veer chihuahua. Veer was supposed to pick up dog poop. Okay, that was Veer's deal. I don't know how I give you both assignments and it becomes his. No, it was his thing. All right. Um, what else? Anything else? No. Nope, thanks. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> so... <laughs> Is it? Come on up, Tyson. <laughs> Come on up, Tyson. You're next. Do you want a dog? <laughs> <laughs> we did talk about his dog last week. Yeah, though, we did talk in about all fairness. Tyson's dog. All right. Poor Brandon was super anxious. No, poor Rocky, his dog. <laughs> Why? What happened? Oh, yeah, and, and Rocky. <laughs> uh, he got beat up a little bit. Oh, no. Yeah. Rocky did? Yeah, Brandon's yeah. rough. On Why does Tyson beat up his dog? He didn't. He, we were watching him while Tyson went to Seattle. Oh, your dog's beat up on... Kind of, yeah. yeah. Got Something it. like that. It was All right. Fun. So back to what we were talking about. What were we talking about? We were talking about the financial stability oh, while yes. being grow to record levels. I don't know what you thought I said, but I said grow. <laughs> and um, and even if it, on replay, I said grow. grow. Um, what I thought was interesting about that is that even though people are now in a different financial position, right? Unless they sell their home, it doesn't matter. Because that could change. That's not true. The equity will not stay there if we have a market correction. Or you don't have to sell your home to access equity. Well, you can pull the equity out. So they have to they have to do something to go do Correct. that. Right? Cash out refinances are hot right now, just in case anybody wanted to <laughs> just throw that <laughs> at, in there. At Chili Penzarella. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> dot com. Right. No, it's oh, is it also dot com? My, my client dot line com? is www.shellypanzarella.com. Perfect. Yeah. So so anyway, so you'd you know you'd have to be able to pull you have to pull out the equity. Now here's the thing. If you're not if you have no job and you might have a house, but no you have job. no job, yeah. you can't pull out money from your you home. Cannot. You do need to have employment in you order to You have to have an employment, right? Or uh, have still an ability to repay the loan. Employment. Still part of the new But plan. after you get the loan, it doesn't matter if you have a job or not. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> We're not encouraging that here at Real Estate Exposed. <laughs> you However, just, it's just while you have a job, just go get the loan. So you exactly. have to you have to pull out the equity from your home or you have to sell it. That's the only way that this is gonna but it's interesting that it, that they've said it that way. Uh, yeah. Do you remember when everybody else when everybody pulled out equity years and years and years yeah. ago? That was don't, a disaster. Don't pull equity out to I buy a boat. <laughs> Just a Tesla. What's a no. boat? <laughs> What's a boat? Or is, a that, is that you an start, acronym for something? You, no, no, a boat. You know, the ones that go across the water, it's actual boat. B-O-A-T. How do you pull equity out of a what do you what I don't, don't know. pull you equity out of your house to go buy a boat. <laughs> I didn't hear the buy part. Did, did you hear that? No. Yeah. That is good. <laughs> it's it, no, seriously, don't go blow, don't yes. pull equity out of your house and go blow it. I agree. Yeah. I agree. What yes. if you really want a boat? Then go get a loan for a boat. Oh, good good idea. Good idea. I do have some families yeah, actually pulling, pulling out cash to do. Get a houseboat. Uh, to p- <laughs> <laughs> to do you buy. Do you houseboats? We do not. Okay. I do not. Okay, yes. continue. Sorry. I, I'm sure I can find somebody for you. At what were you saying? Shellypanzarella.com. Um, <laughs> you, I do have clients who are taking some of their equity to purchase new homes. They're actually there buying investment properties. Taking the money and investing Reinvesting it, it would yeah. be a reason I would save it. Seeing a lot of people renovate their homes as well. Yeah. Yeah. Though yeah. I'm not a financial advisor. 
<laughs> play Nor do on, I play one on, on, on real estate, estate exposed. <laughs> Jinx twice. Seriously. Jinx What's twice. Happening? You owe me a but the scary thing about um, remodeling or right now during this period of time is it's cost way more money to do it now than it has. Do you think so? I, have, I know Just because so. of the lumber? So, oh, because The lumber prices, the appliances, <coughs> everything. In oh, fact, yeah, I ordered my granite for my place um, last week because they're anticipating another rate hike. Really? Yeah. So, um, yeah. Why? Everything. Material? What granite my did appliances, you get? I want to see it. My appliances won't be in until October 1st. Yep. Oh, good thing That's you the biggest it. problem yeah. right now. So you're waiting for stuff. Um, cabinets. Uh, the the hell are you going to eat? The one that I, well, I live in the casino. <laughs> he has the one bedroom. <laughs> yeah. What are you gonna they, uh, the and cabinets that I originally were looking at, they told us almost five to six months to get them. That's crazy. So we went with some other ones, and, and we got them pretty quick, but... It's you already had your cabinets? Do we have that conversation on the mm. show, by the way, about the Ikea cabinets? Yeah. Or was yeah. that we outside? Yeah. We no, won't we do that. That was yeah. No, no, no. I'm telling you. I will show you this penthouse that's in California that is they currently up for sale. And there, it's a beautiful. It's not a style. Yeah. There's no water. Until you Oh, use my it. God. It's amazing. Oh, no. They fall apart. It's a, they're beautiful. Until you they're lean amazing. on it. <laughs> okay. So, anyways. <laughs> but <clears throat> I, my renovation took three weeks. And I've heard people, like I have a friend of mine, hers, she started in March and it's like her bathroom still isn't done. It's hard to find people to Good show help. up to do the work. Yeah. All kinds of stuff. They're, yeah. It's so a crazy. Shortage of me. everything. So, so crazy. So, yeah. So that's what I was going to talk about was the appreciation. Um, but there is an expected rate of appreciation through 2025. Um, what they've stated is that they're obviously 2021, 8.66%. 5.12% in 2022, 3.7% in 2023, 3.56% in 2024, and 3.33% in 2025. That's nationally? Yeah. And it's an So when we're talking about correction, are we talking about because the fact that they're not appreciating as much year over year? Or Correct. A so, correction but they're on still, the market, but, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but they're so still I appreciating. That's, right. I think that's the important part is that even if you buy today, Correct. whereas I have a lot of people that are like, oh, I'm just going to wait. And I'm like, but it doesn't mean that the prices are going to go down. It just might mean that they won't go as up as high as up high. as Correct. they are now. You know right. what I mean? But you also look at the fact that let's say the prices do go down, but the interest rates, interest rates go, go up. Interest rates go up. You know, yep. your buying power changes. Yeah. Yeah, that's Which true. Which that is also projected that that is going to be going up. ShellyPenzarelli.com. <laughs> Yeah, Correct. so the bottom line of this article is home prices are expected to continue appreciating over the next five years, and the associated equity gains are the quickest way homeowners can build household wealth. If you're a current homeowner who's ready to take advantage of your built-up equity, let's connect today to discuss your options at ShellyPanzarella.com. <laughs> you heard it first. Yeah, Real unless you're well. selling, then Realtor Valena. Then, yeah. Dot com. So, um, <laughs> so the good news is, is we still will see appreciation, just not at the rate of appreciation we have I'm just going to look at him every time he looks at his phone. I'm just going to stare at him. I'm just, it's going to be a thing. We're just going to look at you. We're not going to say some, anything. No, he's going to put some input onto the... Uh, do you want to talk about that article you're looking at? Oh, I was... Well, so we're... <laughs> We're doing a build out on a new office, and I was just looking at the IT equipment that's come in to go in there. So got it. A lot of IT. Squirrel. Squirrel. IT. Oh, it. <clears throat> Shall we talk about this Delta variant and how it's going to screw up mortgage rates? So I thought that was kind of crazy that they're saying that the uh, mortgage rates or applications were down because, or they feel it's going to be down because of the Delta variant, which I don't know. How is that? that? I don't know. You're saying uh, so, Mike. Fratanoni Panzarella Panzaroli, uh, MBA senior vice president, chief economist, said, "Yeah, <laughs> said the decline in mortgage applications can be attributed to the market's assessment of the latest COVID nineteen Delta variant, but they're also saying that we are going to see uh, that it's going to slow down our mortgage applications." So look at him put that stuff up there. I know, but rates are actually lower now. They're probably where we are when we first started the year. And mortgage Which applications are lower. Amazing. It, yeah. So two I mean, point seriously. two point. It's showing two point two seven seven. Yeah. Is that where it's at now? Two point seven five to three percent. I'm definitely buying. I got you a place. Should. I got a place. And you so should. and it's in the school district that I want to be in. <laughs> to for, take your for your real. elective three and four. <laughs> no, so that I don't have to worry about getting a zoning variance, which is by the way very difficult. If anybody wants to know how, just cry. <laughs> um, just cry. <laughs> just cry. That's what I did. So. <laughs> It, with the with the rates going down even more, you think is what they're saying than that. Well, it's it's 
they're saying that that is a reason why like mortgage applications have decreased because of this new Delta scare. But I think it's the inventory. It's not. But last year didn't do anything different, Correct. right? I mean, last year there was a scare. I mean, we had an entire shutdown uh, last year. So would you also think it might be a little bit seasonal too? I think it is. I think so. I mean, so. we're going into the school season. I agree. Naturally, I think yeah. Just, well, so. and that's they and so always it's, say. It's, sorry, go ahead. They always say summer dog day, late. What did they say? Summer dog days of summer. Summer or dog lazy days dog summer. days of summer. <laughs> dog Who days says that? of summer. I don't they? know. Darren Hardy. <laughs> He's always talking about trying to get us out of the lazy dog days of summer. Because Lazy people people stop working during this time because they're vacationing, yeah, they're being, getting ready for school. Um, the only thing about lazy dogs that I get is the restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe it's just dog days of dog summer. days of summer. But you're being lazy during Correct. the dog days of summer. Exactly. I get, I get where here's going. why we yeah. call this time of year the dog days of summer. That's part of the National Geographic, by the way. Is twenty percent less pr- product productivity during this time of year. Really? Yeah. These punishingly hot summer days get their name, which, by the way, we had the hottest day so far last year. Today? The beta variant. <laughs> Today. Year. That's why I'm wearing shorts. Um, <laughs> to get their name <laughs> from an ancient belief. <laughs> oh, That's <Tyson>. deadly. <laughs> what about the beta variant? Um, okay. These punishingly hot summer days, let me start again, <laughs> get their name from an ancient belief about the brightest star in the sky, not from dogs' tendencies to laze around in the heat. For many dog days evoke those summer days that are so devastatingly hot that even dogs would lie around on the asphalt pa- uh, panting. But originally the phrase had nothing to do with dogs or even with the lazy days of summer. Instead, the dog days refer to Sirius, the brightest star in the constellation Canis Major, which means big dog in Latin and is said to Present represent one of Orion's hunting dogs. So that's Sirius not, is where I get my music. It, <laughs> <laughs> How did I know that you were going to do that joke? I knew it. Like I, there's a joke. I knew it. That's not a joke. That's serious. That's <laughs> <laughs> also, where I get my music. All right, I'm done with you. Um, talk about rates, Shelley. Uh, we just seven five to three. <laughs> Thank you for paying attention, Brandon. I appreciate no, it. I did, but I wanted to see if there was anything else you had in connection You know what? With I that. will throw this out there because everybody's going back to school, right? Monday? Yeah. So the teacher program here in Nevada, we have the teacher program for those of you who are full-time. Clark, thank you. Clark County School District teachers, part of the charter schools. Uh, you are eligible to take advantage of a down payment assistance program. You get $7,500 in down payment assistance and a below market interest rate, lower than the 2.75 that we just talked about. So for those parents out there dropping off their kids on Monday, get that flyer out there and tell those teachers. How do we get that flyer, Shelly? Shelly Panzarella. <laughs> <laughs> This is all my show today. Man, this is like a once in a lifetime. I'm excited. <laughs> Except we're going to call it the squirrel moment. Yes. Moments. That's also my show too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there was there was a couple of articles that you had sent, Brandon, before we jump off of here. But it was in reference to Sisolak actually pushing renter programs ahead of CDC eviction moratorium expiration. And that was obviously last week's um, articles that you had sent. So there's several. So CHAPS is the one that they've identified in here. Yep. Um, do you need a copy of that beta so you can send it off t- or you can put it on here? The yeah, CHAPS. Beta one. Um, just so people have it, because I think it's I think it's important to have this information so that you know where to go. But there was an article that Brandon had sent in reference to this where it says, here's where you can get it. You also have the eviction media um, mediation program that tenants... Yeah. Every every time chaps close. (laughs) Every time you pick up your phone, I'm looking at you, Brandon. Oh, Um, and then you sent the message. I did. I did. You're right. (laughs) I'm sorry. I did that for Beta so that he could put it up here. But it is um, also the Nevada Housing Division's website is where you can fill out rental assistance for landlords. That opens August first. By the way, so if you're a landlord that's looking for um, assistance, you can fill those out at the Nevada Housing Division. That's lower in the article. That's the um, and if you could put that like in the chat um, beta, that would be great too. So people have reference to it. Um, and I thought this this article was pretty like inclusive of some of the things that people can do while they're looking to you know for the assistance that they need during this time because I know it's gonna it's it hasn't surprisingly been as bad as I thought it was going to be and how bad everybody anticipated that it was going to be I've checked with um you know I've been part of that property management um 
uh, committee subcommittee with the associ- with the state association, and they we haven't gotten any major reports. I mean that we're going to have a huge. I think the big thing is it, a lot of properties are managed by good reputable property management companies in town. Right, and I think they've done yeah, a good job it. of really working through this process. Um, I know I've talked to Randy Hatata a few times on the phone too, and and he's working hard working with the tenants and stuff mm-hmm. to get stuff for. And I know our department is too, um, working real hard with the tenants to try to get those funds from CHAP for the owners. So yeah. there's really no like there's nothing that really can, you can reference to say you know tenants are behind or or landlords are. I mean I know there's like the notice of sale and notice of defaults, but there's nothing that's on record as to how many tenants are really behind, right? Well, eviction filings would be, but oh, when they okay. put a, a moratorium on them, they're notice. not happening. Yeah. So. You know, then you go to the property manager and stuff like that. You're asking for, hey, how many people are delinquent and stuff like that. Got but, it. But I mean, we have a, we have a fair amount, but it's not as high as I would have thought it would have been. I agree, and I'm I'm I think it's because we anticipated this last year. There was that special session that happened. There was the SB one that took place that allowed for eviction mediation program, and then because we had some time, October. 15th till about December 15th, there was those two months. I think they're the people who needed, you know, who were taking advantage of the system. I believe that they got um, evicted. And then, so I think that we've had sort of a trickle effect of evictions happening between, you know, March 20th of last year and now. Um, I, I mean, I, I don't, anti- again, there, I think in September 1st, when we, when we had the show, we were talking about 250,000 people being evicted. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. Throughout Nevada? Yeah, but I think that's a lot of the reports. That you, it just depends on the article or who, who yeah. you're getting who's, it from and, and yeah. what the angle Fake of the, news. It, well, it's, it's, I mean, you can make, Exaggerated you news. You can make statistics <laughs> say whatever you want them to say. It's true. True. I can tell you that your house is worth 700000 and you can believe me. Damn it, I overpaid. <laughs> I know. <laughs> exactly. Um, uh, and wait, then, it's not? No. It's not? What? It's not? There was a, um, and, then there, and then you were quoted an article this week. Was what it? you were? You no, said I was on an, buying homes right. That was his, that was his quote in the article. I buying was, homes right. I was on. Oh, the PBS, PBS. show. We PBS talked about show. that last week. Yeah, with Big and Bird so and um, that was one of the things I said. There. With Big Bird, <laughs> Sesame Street. Isn't that where the PBS? Yeah, shows? yeah. yeah. PBS, Spindiers. by the way, is a phenomenal. I mean, absolutely phenomenal um, organization that we have here in Las Vegas. Like they have a facility here. They do some really cool programs for kids. So if you have kids and you know that are a little bit younger I think than mine, they have them everywhere. I know, but the ones here. Uh, for PBS? the Vegas PBS one, they have a lot of like really great programs that they that they have for kids um, that are outside of like just watching TV. It's kind of cool. Hmm. Other than Sesame Street, because other that, than Sesame Street, yeah, I grew up public on that. broadcasting service. They do a lot of um, like educational programs and whatnot too that are worth Very looking cool. at. I know that's all I got, guys. What y'all got? That's all I got. What make, do you got, Brandon? Make sure you go to ShellyPenzarelli <laughs> <laughs> Von for and Abala, all your it? mortgage needs. That's right. And Vonda Nabala for RealtorVonda.com. Oh, well, Real- make it difficult. Realtor Vonda. And Va- Brian- say my name. How do you say my name? Vandana. Vandana. There you go. Oh, you- <laughs> like you just struck it all together. Signature yeah. 702. Signature oh, no, Life you, I, 702. He doesn't yeah, sell houses. You're not going to get any information there. <laughs> <laughs> He's got nothing This is a lot of cool you. things on there. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. All right. So thanks so much for joining us today. Do you want to... Yeah, make sure that you uh, like and subscribe. And if you like what you heard today, share it with three of your friends and make sure you click that notification button. Bye. Oh, my.